What if someone could follow your every move? Knew when you were on, at home or on vacation. Yeah, scary stuff. If you have a smartphone, you may be giving that information away all of the time with every single photo that you take. Tom Leiden is here with what we all need to know, Tom. Yeah, this is really interesting. If you have a smartphone like the iPhone, Android, or I have a Blackberry here, you really want to pay attention to this. It's a problem known as geotagging. Every time you take a photo, you may be giving out much more information than you ever imagined. Embedded in that photograph, come to find out, may be a bit of un seen code that gives away the longitude and latitude of where that photo was taken using GPS satellite coordinates. Google Earth or Google Maps can pull up a map of that site, where that photo was taken, even a street view of that location. Mark Lanterman is a former cop and a computer forensic expert who showed us just how easy this can be and why it can be a criminal's perfect app. Latitude and longitude with, uh, with an accuracy down to about 30 feet. If I were to go to Google Street View, I can see the location where the photograph was taken. You can certainly establish patterns such as uh, when, uh, when are you home, when are you at work, where do you work, uh, when are you on vacation, where do you go for vacation, and it can help establish patterns. He says it can be a real issue, not only for people who could be stalked on Facebook and Twitter, but also for people posting items to sell on Craigslist. They could very well be giving the exact address of their home. Of course, many of the applications young people really love, like Foursquare, depend on these GPS devices, but many are not aware it's also attached to the photos they may send out to friends. I don't do anything illegal, and I don't see a problem with people knowing where you are except for when you don't want them to know. And if you don't know how to turn that system off, then that's kind of dangerous. So what do you do to turn off this geo-tracking? It's a little different on every phone, but go to the options section of your phone. It should list GPS, and on many of the smartphones, you can turn off GPS for some applications while leaving it on for others. This actually became a very significant issue when several Hollywood celebrities posted pictures online, which inadvertently gave out the exact coordinates of where they live. And while we didn't tell you exactly how to do this tonight, it's not that difficult. Trust me, if I can do it, you can do it too. We were trying in the newsroom tonight, and it was really amazing, guys accurate down to 15 or 30 feet. By the way, Lanterman, the, uh, the officer and also the expert, has some good advice, and that is if you post vacation photos, make sure you do that after you come back from vacation. And that's, that's a really good tip. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm going to get into the settings after the show tonight. Thanks for the info, Tom. It seems like, though, for a criminal interested in kids, this would be all they would need just to photograph with some of this information on it. Very scary. Yeah, Mark Lanterman's actually done a lot of work on pedophiles and also cases involving child pornography, and he says these guys are really, really savvy in, in the computer way, and, and they're looking for this. They know that this geotag can be on photos, and they're looking to see if these photos have it, and they're, they're looking for it to prey on victims and to find out their location. Not only that, their patterns, when they're going to school, when they're coming from home, mm -hmm. what routes they take, they can plot all that. Yeah, so we need to stay one step ahead by Absolutely. spreading this information. Okay, Tom, thank you.